Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hello. Hey guys. My name is Victoria Anzelive. My name is Amaka. You already know this the This is vibe. Cynthia Akone. My name is Paula. This is Estelle. And you want to sit back, relax, and enjoy these faces. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into it. I'm here for the money. I'm here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm going to do it all for you. Come along. I'm sure each one of you probably have your own opinion on why they should be called demons or why not. For me, I think they should sometimes be called Yoruba angels. <laughs> but hey, what do I know? So let's just hear from you what guys. You know? What's you? <laughs> I, like, I like that she said sometimes. Wow. I solved my problem. Yes, yeah, sometimes angels. Why demon? Why not any other adjective or Verbal whatsoever. Let me let me just say this. Have I dated Yoruba? No. Have I seen a lot of people date Yoruba? Yes. Am I eager to date Yoruba? Not really. <laughs> but it does not mean that they are bad. No, because I actually work with a lot of people that are Yoruba and they actually had work with me. Come on. The owner of Wazobia is a Yoruba person. Very business smart. I think why Yoruba term came up out of all the tribe. There is no tribe on earth, even nationality that does not have the demon part of that. Mm -hmm. But I think why Yoruba own stick huh? is that like it goes to the soul. Yoruba people, you can be lovey dovey in the night, in the morning. Who are you? Out. I mean, I'm not saying other tribes don't do it. But I think the people I've seen that have been hurt so bad, they don't even know when it went south. south. Yeah. I have American friends that take Yoruba guys. One of them told me, Paula, he did me so dirty. Yeah. But I would I would date him again. Because no, no, this one told me I'll date him again because you see that time it was sweet. I ain't never got another guy like that good. I'm like, ha! <laughs> <laughs> the prayer is that when your partner finds you, regardless of tribe, that they're done with the demon part of that. For me, oh, I just don't classify you as a demon. I feel like all tribes have their demons and their angels. And demons are just people that want to take advantage of you or make you go outside your act or just hurt you in general. I haven't even dated a Yoruba guy, so I wouldn't know. But I've heard stories of them. And I've also heard stories of evil people that have done the same thing, maybe even worse. It's not just the Yorubas. It's everywhere. I feel like people just classify them Yoruba demons. And you know, it became a norm and people started using it. I want to completely agree with what you say. There's an angel and a demon in every tribe. And your angel is whichever person has given you the <laughs> most amazing like relationship or whatever regardless of the tribe right right now my demon is an evil guy <laughs> you know so it depends on because i've not dated any yoruba person right so there's no way to say oh yoruba is demon however however i've had just random like friends that are yorubas that i'm like oh and you've had experience with let's say three sorts of people from that same ethnic tribe i think that's what started this whole mm -hmm. yoruba demon kind of trendy <laughs> personally <laughs> have i dated the yoruba guy <laughs> my sister said do you have a phone there that's very very much she has a cup there <laughs> <English> but <laughs> I'm open. <laughs> open. I think we all have the same answer. Yes. Yeah, okay. We're all open. Well, actually. <laughs> I like that pose. I like that pose. Mm -hmm. oh. I would love to marry Ungi Ibo. Great. Yeah. <laughs> is, is that the same? I didn't say it right. But I love to definitely, I think, I think everybody has preference. Definitely, I would love and hopefully get married to an evil person because I want to have fun. Like, Pino drops a song, I don't want to have to interpret it. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to summer, summer you to know how to do summer, summer, you know? <laughs> of course. Okay. But am I open to dating anybody? Yeah, we don't even can tell. The same man proposes, God disposes, right? Yeah. My prayer that is not uh, evil. God just bring me abroad to white. <laughs> <laughs> My first choice used to be, I want to marry an evil man. You yeah. know, as you grow older, some of your choices begin to change, yeah. especially with everything around you and how it affects you, right? Okay, <laughs> so the first 
my you know growing up my first decision to marry an evil guy was because i didn't want to disappoint my parents mm. i want i'm the other and i wanted to make sure i'm bringing home somebody that is evil i'm sorry for the then later yeah, it moved my, my dad obviously doesn't even care it was just me and my head <laughs> then later it moved from now i don't want to disappoint like i don't want to disappoint myself and marry somebody that is not evil because i want to understand what they speak yeah and then later after you know you meet people you see marriages that have worked with other tribes it's gradually moved towards i don't mind marrying somebody that is not evil mm-hmm. we'll have to find a way to make it work because yeah. it's about what god wants for me mm-hmm. yeah but then i was still in that umbrella of but it has to be nigerian well, guess who's checking out the whites now too? <laughs> okay. It's me. It's okay. me. No man is a dog. Let's remember that, <laughs> by the way. But I'm sure there are certain things we want because what I've learned is that men are not like us. We, we can be very detailed. Some things to them are just doesn't mean anything to them, and they do not really understand our language. Woman to woman, we understand because maybe we feel the same thing. We have that emotions, we have those hormones, but with men, it's like, is that why you're angry? Is that really so? Really you know, they don't understand yeah. it. So, what can we tell our viewers now, the men especially, that we men actually want in man? Um, for me, I definitely want somebody that understands and knows when they're ready like you need to know what when you're ready and you need to understand what it means to be ready so if you're ready to be with someone and love that person you need to understand that love involves sacrifice it involves being selfless so you need to understand that and i definitely want somebody that is in tune with his emotional side because it's at the end of the day it's a safe space for you to be you and be accepted somebody that is in touch with your emotional side that can talk about how they feel you know and they can have that safety net of somebody caring for them and in return the person does the same thing so i definitely want that stability too yeah. where you know you guys can have that conversation and it can be a conversation and you guys can be safe yeah. so for me i want to say um what i look for in a, in a man is somebody who understands appreciates communicates pays attention to detail I know they say guys don't, but you need to be at least, at least try small, small. That's right. <laughs> and um, make sacrifices. Sacrifice is such a big deal because, you know, at the risk of sounding TMI, like, I already see that affecting me in the most recent time. Like, you need to make sacrifices. I know we're busy, like, you got, you probably got your life going on, and I have my life going on. So, make sacrifices commitments you know mm-hmm. and compromises exactly love. yeah that's what we want nothing too much we don't even need lbs but you can add that okay well i think i need a whole session <laughs> <laughs> so just i'm looking for more long-term traits you know like some so many females will say i want a christ like guy. honestly i tell people for me that's not even like a top list because i've seen guys that are buried in church that are christ-like and then poof, tomorrow things happen. Because when you get ma- when you get in marriage, you know, things happen. The relationship becomes plain and all of that. I tell people over that I'll take I will want to be with a man that loves himself so much. If you love yourself jealously, there's some bullshit you won't tolerate. If you love yourself, there's some things you cannot afford to do with yourself, your body, you know, your time. Everything will have to be on value. Thank you. Thank you.